हेलो एवरीवन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्रोमोसोमल डिसऑर्डर्स यस्टरडे यू हैव बीन टोल्ड अबाउट मेंडेलियन डिसऑर्डर्स इन विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हिमोफीलिया सिकल सेल एनिमिया एंड फिनाइल कीटोन्यूरिया these three disorders they are included into the mendelian disorders now the next topic is chromosomal disorders and in chromosomal disorders also you have to study about the three diseases three disorders which are down syndrome turner syndrome and klinefelter syndrome before we talk about all these three diseases in detail let us see the definition of the chromosomal disorders and you know the chromosomal disorders or the disorders which are caused by the addition of one or two chromosomes in the basic sets of the chromosomes or maybe the deletion of one or two chromosomes from the basic sets of the chromosomes as you know the human being has how many sets of the chromosomes we have two sets of the chromosomes in one set the number of chromosomes are 23 so in two sets how many chromosomes are there total 46 as you know we are diploid organism we have two sets of the chromosomes the basic sets of the chromosomes these are two and in each set 23 chromosomes are there so total number of the chromosomes in the human being are 46 and in the chromosomal disorders not the whole set is going to be increased either decreased just in the basic sets of the chromosomes one chromosome is going to be added or maybe deleted for example in the case of trisomic in trisomy as you know one chromosome it becomes more there is the additional number of the chromosome one additional chromosome is added into our basic sets of the chromosomes as i told you the basic sets of the chromosomes the total number of the chromosomes we are having 46 and 1 becomes excess so the total number of chromosomes in the trisomic condition it will be 47 that's why the formula of trisomy is 2n plus 1 as you know 2n equal to 46 and 1 is added so it becomes how many 47 and the example of trisomic the examples are trisomic or down syndromes and klein fenter syndrome both the syndromes both the disorders you have to study we will discuss in this topic in the case of monosomic condition the one or two chromosomes they are going to be removed they are less than the basic sets of the chromosomes for example 2n minus 1 2n equal to 46 so 46 minus 1 so the total number of the chromosomes in monosomic condition it becomes what 45 so one chromosome is missing 
in the basic sets of the chromosomes and the example of the monosomic age Turner syndrome other syndromes are also there but in class 12th in NCRT syllabus these three diseases we have to study in detail that what are their symptoms what is the cause of that particular disease so this is all about the general definition of the chromosomal disorders chromosomal disorders also they do not follow the pattern of the inheritance which were given by the mendels as i told you earlier in genetic disorders in mendelian disorders the disorders or the diseases follow the pattern of the mendelian inheritance but here like the mendelian pattern of the inheritance the chromosomal disorders they are not inherited from one generation to the next generation and successive generation you can't make the pedigree diagram the pedigree diagram you can't analyze the chromosomal disorders through the pedigree the pedigree analysis is applicable in the case of mendelian disorders but the pedigree analysis is not applicable for the chromosomal disorders how you will get to know that someone is suffering from the chromosomal disorders it can be traced out in the fetus condition through the amniocentesis when the amniotic fluid is taken from the fetus and if it is going to be tested then the doctors they get to know that whether the fetus is normal or abnormal so overall the chromosomal disorders may be caused by addition or by the deletion of one or two chromosomes into the basic sets of the chromosomes and the chromosomal disorders they do not follow the pattern of the inheritance which was given by mendel and the chromosomal disorders can be diagnosed can be known by the amniocentesis let us discuss all the disorders in detail the first one i have written here down syndrome the down syndrome was described by a scientist his name was j langdon down and on his name the scientist name was langdon down and that's why the name of the disease was kept down syndrome the down syndrome he reported in year 1966 the down syndrome is caused by trisomy of the 21st chromosome means trisomy as i told you 2n plus 1 the total number of the chromosome in the patient in the syndromic individual it becomes how many 47 and the trisomic conditions comes when the 21st one 21st pair chromosome it becomes trisomic that's why here i have written trisomy of 20 first chromosome in klinefelter's also 47 number of the chromosomes are there but in klinefelter's there is the additional x chromosome but here the 21st pair of the chromosome it becomes trisomic 
what are the symptoms of down syndrome the individual is with the short stature means the height becomes very short you can say the individual is dwarf with a small round head and furrowed tongue the tongue is projecting and partially open mouth the mouth is open like mongolian mouth the tongue is projected exterior and the height it becomes very short or you can say there is the short stature the palm is broad it very wide with characteristics palm crease the palm crease is very prominent and the palm is broad also the individual with the slow mental physical and psychomotor development the individual is not mentally fit not physically fit even and even they don't have the psychomotor development also so they the mental physical and psychomotor development are very low are very slow in the case of the down syndromes so these are the symptoms of down syndromes now the second one that is turner syndrome the turner syndrome is a very good example of a monosomic the formula of the monosomic as i told you 2n minus 1 in the trisomic the formula was 2n plus 1 but in this one the formula is here 2n plus 1 2n minus 1 as you know the 2n equal to 46 and from 46 from the normal chromosomes one chromosome is missing and that missing chromosome is x chromosome their age missing of one x chromosome so what will be the karyotype of the individual i have written here 44 plus xo in your textbook it is written like this let me to explain both of this 44 x 0 means the 44 and 22 pairs These are the autosomes. Autosomes are all right, but here one X chromosome in female it is going to be missed, and that's why the total number of the chromosomes will be how much? Forty-five. Forty-four plus X. In the normal condition, one more X must be there because in the female the sex chromosomes are X X. Forty-four. Plus x x, so total it becomes forty six. But here one x chromosome is less. That's why the total number of the chromosomes in the Turner syndrome, how much it is forty five. In your text, it is also written forty. That is forty five along with x zero means that forty five is already included this x chromosome. So you will not get confused. You will not add like this. That forty-five, then X that will forty-six. Not like this. Overall, in the Turner syndrome, the total number of the chromosomes are forty-five, not forty-six. One X chromosome is less, which is X chromosome. what are the symptoms of turner syndrome in the turner syndrome the affected female the overall look will be the female like affected females are sterile as you know sterile female the female which are unable to produce the offspring produce the child she can't bear the offspring she can't produce the young ones 
because the overage in this case in the Turner syndrome the overage are very rudimentary the rudimentary means they are not well developed the overage are not in the condition to produce the ovum so i have written here overage are rudimentary means less developed not well developed the ovary is not able to produce the ovum or you can say egg so the affected females are sterile as their ovaries are rudimentary or you can say not well developed the second lack of secondary sexual characters and poor breast development in the case of turner syndromes the secondary sexual characters as you know means the secondary sexual characters are the characters which are unique for the female which are unique for the male in female the secondary sexual characters like the development of the breast their voice the small size of adam's apple means these are the secondary sexual sexual characters which make the female different from the males these secondary sexual characters are not proper or less developed and even the there is the poor breast development this height is very short short stature means dwarf the female it becomes very dwarf the size of uterus is also very small small uterus the fingers they are very puffy puffy fingers and the neck neck is webbed means it is actually the congenital disease it is since birth the neck is webbed means very broad and this is called webbed neck so these all are the symptoms of turner syndrome now the last one is the klinefelter syndrome in klinefelter syndrome also this is the example of trisomic here also the formula this is the example of trisomic 2 n plus 1 the karyotype is 47 along with x x y or you can write like this 44 plus x x y 44 these are the autosomes and here one x chromosome is added or it is more in the normal sets of the chromosome in the basic sets of the chromosome one x chromosome is additional you can say so 44 45 46 and 47 the total number of the chromosomes become how many 47 and here not any additional chromosome is there on the autosomes the extra chromosome is the sex chromosome that is x chromosome and because of one extra x chromosome the disease will be appear and that disease will be the klinefelter syndrome what are the symptoms of the klinefelter syndrome the masculine development overall the look or you can say the morphology the appearance it will be just like the male but feminine characters it is male but the male has so many characteristics of the female or you can say the feminine characters the poor beard growth and female pieced voice the mouse stitches the beards they are not appeared in the case of the affected individual while the breast is well developed like the female and this is called gynecomastia this is a syndrome in which in male the breast is enlarged like the female and this symptoms 
appear in this disorder, Klinefelter syndrome. And also the individual, the, in Klinefelter syndrome, the individual is sterile here also, means the individual is not able to produce the offspring. The syndromic individual is not fertile, not capable to produce the young ones. So that's all regarding the Klinefelter syndrome. All these three syndromes you have to write in your fair copy and you have to learn. Overall, the trisomic condition and the monosomic condition, they are included into the heading and new ploidy. Earlier, you have been told that a new ploidy is the condition in which one or two chromosomes are added or maybe deleted into the normal sets of the chromosomes. This is the aneuploidy condition. Aneuploidy, it comes in the chromosomal disorders. And the cause of aneuploidy is the non disjunction in which the chromosomes, as I told you, the chromosomes, why there is the additional chromosome or there is the missing of the chromosome, why the conditions they are going to be created? What are the regions? The individuals, they are trisomic, either monosomic, because of the non distinction Normally, as you know, the chromosomes, the paired chromosomes, they segregate to each other during the process of cell division in the anaphase condition, but sometimes the chromosomes, the paired chromosomes, not all, but one or two paired chromosomes, they do not segregate, they do not separate properly to each other and the sperm, either the egg may have the additional or maybe the less number of the chromosomes and therefore these conditions are going to be created. So a nucleoid condition causes all these syndromes while in the case of polyploidy the polyploidy has not been reported into the case of male in uh, sorry in, in human being in human being it is not possible that the whole set is going to be increased either decreased as i taught you in the case of polyploidy not one or two chromosomes they are going to be added or deleted the whole set of the chromosome they are going to be added. If the normal basic set of the chromosome it is diploid, one more set is going to be added, so it becomes triploid. If there are four sets of the chromosome, it will be tetraploid. If one more set, that will be pentaploid. Six sets of the chromosomes, like in the case of wheat, the total number of the chromosomes are 42. In each set, the number of chromosomes are seven. So, wheat is hexaploid plant. Six sets of the chromosomes are there. And the polyploidy condition is caused when the telophage is not followed by cytokinesis. So, there is a difference between aneuploidy and polyploidy. In aneuploidy, one or two chromosomes they are going to be added or deleted into the basic sets of the chromosomes but in polyploidy the whole set is going to be changed in aneuploidy is caused due to the non distinction the chromosomes they fail to segregate properly during the process of cell division while the polyploidy is caused when the cytokinesis when the uh, during the process of cell division telophage is not followed by cytokinesis and a nucleotide condition takes place in human being all the disorders either the down syndrome 
क्लाइंट फिंटर सिंड्रोम टर्नर सिंड्रोम दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन द एन्यूप्लोइडी दीज आर द एन्यूप्लोइडी कंडीशन फाइल पॉलीप्लोइडी इज रिपोर्टेड इन टू द केस ऑफ द प्लांट्स इट मीन्स बोथ द ट्राइसोमिक कंडीशन एंड द मोनोसोमिक कंडीशन टू एन प्लस एंड टू एन माइनस वन बोथ और द टाइप्स ऑफ एन्यू प्लोइडी यू कैन सी योर बुक वंस अगेन यू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स एन्यू प्लोइडी पॉली प्लोइडी मोनोसोमिक ट्राइसोमिक देन यू विल गेट टू नो about all these topics so that's all for today tomorrow i will teach you the next topic thanks thanks everyone